and welcome to the 2018 IKA TTR Youth Worlds and Youth Olympic qualifiers. Some of the very quickest young kiteboarders from across the globe have gathered on China's tropical Henan Island. I'm here in China for the Youth World Kiteboarding Championships of 20 Racing. I'm super excited and I can't wait to race. It's such an amazing place and I'm so happy and I'm really stoked I can be here. I have all my friends here to share this experience with, so I'm really happy. I'm quite excited, quite excited to be here. First time in China, definitely interesting people, interesting place. Wind is a bit light, I'm respecting a bit more, but it's definitely an interesting place and I'm very excited for competing here. I think for China there are some really, really good riders here and for, to win I'm going to have to really work hard to get my starts good and get around the buoys as fast as possible and try to stay in front and not make mistakes. With qualification spots available for this year's Youth Olympic Games in Argentina, the competition was set to be fierce. China's leading kiteboarder, 18-year-old Jingo Chen, has already qualified for the Youth Olympics. She's just one of a talented group of young Chinese riders, proof that the sport is becoming more and more popular in the country. Over the last 12 months, China has hosted a number of major kiteboarding events, such as the Kitefoil Worlds, Kitefoiling World Cups, and now the Youth TTR World Championships. Because 啊通過這次活動我們有很深的一個感受啊就是這項非常具有這種驚險性也有觀賞性的運動放在海灘的話讓我們整個海灘感到它非常有活力也充滿色彩啊充滿各種挑戰我覺得這是一項非常有意義的
I think it's, it's very important the um, kite uh, was uh, inside the, the, the Youth Olympic Games because uh, you know it can uh, show what uh, the, the sport it is and what the sports can do and the fact that uh, you have uh, as many girls and, and men in the sport. So I think it's good for the future, you know, to uh, maybe think uh, to, to be also in the real Olympics. out of the 24 places at the Youth Games in Buenos Aires in October have already been allocated at the three previous International Kiteboarding Association qualifiers in the Dominican Republic, Morocco and Thailand. So with eight places up for grabs at this event in China, it's the last chance for some athletes to qualify, whilst for others it's about enjoying the racing having already secured their ticket for Argentina. It's nice to not have this, as much stress as all the other riders because everyone else has to get top four in order to qualify for the Youth Olympics, which I've already qualified, which is really nice feeling. Uh, but of course, I'd always like to win because that's what we come here for, to compete and to do our best. So I'll still try and win, even though I've qualified. Uh, but I think all the other riders are very stressed out about qualifying their country. So hopefully I can keep concentrated and do my best. Actually, my goal is um, to be um, my best self, so my, my game is not um, going to an end. So I still need to prove to myself that I can, that I can be better in uh, uh, light wind, in challenging conditions or whatever. I, I just want to uh, do my best, I want to enjoy this race. Of course, I have no pressure because I'm already qualified. But um, I, I just want to win like every other time and I want to um, take every minute of this race to then be able uh, to be stronger to the Olympic Games. For most of the fleet, it's the last chance to qualify for the Games. It's the last chance to qualify. Um, only four boys going and I'm just really motivated now to get in that top four. Um, my tactic for this event is just to play my kite and uh, do the best I can. And uh, I hope with that I can uh, uh, win maybe. I think the most important thing is to enjoy the opportunity of being here and competing with the best of the best. I want to qualify, obviously, but it's it's going to be hard, but I don't think it's going to be impossible for any of us. Now let's find out who will earn those final coveted spots at the Youth Olympic Games in October. After low wind speeds during the first two days of racing, on day three, the Asia Bay finally threw up winds, hitting up to 20 knots. The battles were super close, with consistency being the key to doing well in twin tip racing. I'm just going to the finals every time. So it's not about to be the first one in every, every race, it's about to be consistent and so I'm very happy and a little bit surprised. It's enough to be the third one and not the first one. So it's about stay focused and yeah, a little bit be smart. Spain's Dina Font Castells seized the girls' title with some very mature, consistent performances. She won four straight elimination deciders from the six that were squeezed into three days of racing. With the win, she claimed a qualification place for her country alongside Germany, Thailand and France. Well, I just want to um, enjoy this moment until the end and then 
we will see if it's like this or not. So for the moment, just I'm just like keeping calm. The Dominican Republic's Adjuri Canal was almost untouchable in the high-octane races, capturing the men's title with room to spare. He was so far ahead on the rankings, he was able to discard wins from earlier elimination round deciders. Heoran Zhang also qualified for China, Martin Dolans for Croatia, and Benoit Gomez secured the French qualification spot in an epic finale to the week's racing. Like right now I'm super happy. We already, I think, Dominican Republic is already qualified. Like we are pretty sure, 100%. Normally it's like a game, right? Like I just try to do my best all the time. I'm positive. I'm, I don't mind if there's other better than me. Like I've been training a lot. I think it's, the, it's one of my dreams, like just to be in the Olympics and to do my best and to see if we can get the gold medal. in the cheers, smiles and hugs among the young athletes at the closing ceremony as teams celebrated their qualification for the prestigious Youth Olympics. Uh -huh. 